Hello! This week has been full of new tools and ways to use AI in particular and in this video I would just like to go through what I have experienced and how I have used AI this current week and uh, what new tools are available and what that might mean. So I've created a uh, introduction here and uh, this is all my thoughts during the week and what it might hold for us in the future so as to educate ourselves so I will start with uh, why I'm creating this video so it's a process for me to think and to get out all of the thoughts I gather when I experience and test different tools and there's a lot of thoughts in my head and uh, making these YouTube videos is a uh, help to kind of let it go uh, and focus on stuff that is important for me, my family or work or other things. So the first thing I would want to show you this week and this has a big, been a big thing is something called Sora which is a text to video model made from OpenAI and uh, the thing about this is it's create really realistic videos so if we look here here we have some examples where we also have the prompts that were used and everything in this video is generated so this is not real but it's very hard to see if it's real or if it's AI generated we have some other examples here mammoths a guy with a red woolen helmet a view over some landscape with realistic waves and there's a lot of more examples for this but this the implications and what what you can use these tools for are endless and huge so just wanted to show you Sora it's from OpenAI a text to video model which makes fantastic results Then I would like to show you uh, something called SEMA. Uh, I like to play video games. I play video games a lot. It uh, is a great way to not think about all the AI stuff, just to have fun with some friends and not focus on anything. But there's a new uh, model by Google DeepMind. And this is a AI that can play video games as humans. Um, and any kind of video game and it can you tell it what you want it to do and it can help you and also here the implications and what this means are endless and huge um, I remember a book I read when I was a teenager um, it was from Terry Pratchett um, a famous author and he in that book he talked about game characters coming to life and not wanting to be killed and with AI controlling characters in game that is a reality and it's not only that you could make friends with non-playable -play characters and these playable characters remember stuff you have done with them and can reflect over them and what that means for video games are endless and huge you could have companions that help you not only video games you could have AI bots in discord channels or in chat channels that behave and talk as humans and you in the future or very near the near in the future you will not be able to tell difference between a human or a AI generated avatar character so this if you want to see it's called uh, SEMA um, and it can play video games another tool that hit the the market or, or, or was shown this week was something called Devin and Devin is a software engineer I educate software engineers because I'm a, a teacher in programming Devin is a software engineer, AI software engineer, 
and uh, according to this demo they show how it is able to solve tasks from home pages like Upwork or Fiverr where a customer says I want a web page about this and this Devin creates that web page and also works in the same way as a software developer does. This tool is not perfect and this is a demo which is like hand-picked but it shows what the future will be like in many ways so to say this is only fiction is not true because it will it, it, it says a bit about the future a big bit about the future and what will come sp especially in software engineering programming and such so this was a very huge news you can check it out if you want to um, the other thing that was happening this week was something called suno.ai not this week this is older than a week of course but it's the ability to create music um, any kind of music we can make a song about the moon and we can listen it and everything is generated by AI and it sounds good and it's hard to differentiate is this human made or is this AI generated um, what else is there 11 labs.io is a company that can generate or create voices and much much more in terms of sound 11 labs.io <coughs> my wife works with a company who creates uh, plastic uh, uh, plastic plasters for people that operate their larynx or their throat and they kind of lose their voice with a tool like 11 labs you can in a way regain your voice just an example on how this is will be useful um, yes let's continue um, another thing that came was figure one there's a lot happening in robotics all over all kinds of different tools uh, this robot is able to you're able to communicate with this robot and it reacts on the intention or the goal of the one that it in, uh, inter, um, with, with it communicates with uh, and, it re and it reasons and it can control uh, the robot this is just one example of many different kind of robotics that's being developed in many different fields uh, yes so I just wanted to s quickly show you some of the advancement in AIs and tools and the thing about these tools are you can use them now and 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 they can either help you or um, educate you uh, educate you is helping but I would like to take some time now and just uh, show or talk about how I have used AI this last week for example so I created a extension I created my own extension for a program that I use which helps me in my working with code I developed the extension myself or with help of AI and uh, all the thoughts I had on how I want to this tool to be used or, or uh, help me in my work I have integrated lots of help by AI I wouldn't be able to do this without AI in the time I have done it I won't go into what the tool is but if you use programming it can be helpful for you probably if you want to communicate with LLM or ChatGPT uh, <coughs> um, I generated songs for my uh, colleagues and uh, that and then I mailed them and, and that it was appreciated and I also made some songs to my uh, gaming friends 
and I will take an anecdote of one of them. I have a gaming friend who is uh, currently working to become a teacher, and I and he told me that when you mer meet the class the first time, you get so many questions on who are you, what do you do, from every student. And I say you should generate a song in German about yourself to the student, and then play it for them in five minutes, and then you could have other discussions than you just explaining who you are and what you do and who what you come from and you can instead talk about what the students are and that could be interesting so i made a song just as a test for him we can listen to it Yeah, uh, and then I made some songs to a forum, and then I made some songs about my colleagues, and yeah, so been playing a lot with this music because it's crazy how good it is, um, and it doesn't take a lot of knowledge or time to be able to achieve these results yourself. You should test them if you find it interesting. Um, then I also made. This is a assignment I did for my students with uh, with a, uh, a art uh, society in the city I'm working and here I made an assignment together with them that my students created artworks using code and I wouldn't have done this uh, cooperational work with uh, this institution if it wasn't for AI because developing a assignment and the plan and what to do and how to do it just a text just a thought uh, without AI that could take me two days or something maybe but with AI it can it takes me an hour or half an hour or something like that and suddenly I can do what I before didn't dare to do and th couldn't and that's the thing with AI it has uh, given me such self-confidence in any task or any assignment and and, and the ability to, sh to feel like I can do it even though I don't have much time is a life changer in a way or work changer um yeah so i have discussed a lot about ai uh, in communities on forums and um, there's a lot of speculation what the future will hold because of this tool and to do a video about it is hard because the thoughts are all over the place but uh, I will I will not take this this time if you want to discuss AI or you want to reason or think or uh, write it in the comments and I will try to answer you so we will we will skip that point right now um, but yeah I will say that AI will affect a lot of different aspects of our current life I believe um, and the thing I'm afraid of is it's developing so fast and uh, we are very slow to adapt um, and when we n know what is going to be happening uh, there might be some kind of you know um, hindrance I can't even figure out what will happen, but yeah. <sighs> Contemplating what AI will mean for the future is so hard uh, to formulate. And I think the only way to, f to find out is to talk about it and try it and maybe work with it because it's developing fast and uh, it will change a lot of the current society 
I believe that we're living in um, because it's so effective tools in so many different area areas at once people will use it companies will use it um, and we should educate ourselves that's why I do these videos um, to find out how we can use them and I think that can come from discussions with each other and with others because all these thoughts I believe you have them as well are it's hard to have them in your head all the time uh, and it's good to, to talk about them yes um, I'm finished with this video and do you have any thoughts about AI or any of the tools please leave a comment and I will be happy to discuss it uh, for now that's me and thank you for listening bye bye